images to chat GPT. So one of the cool things that I've seen is people uploading mockups for websites and getting the chat GPT to create it. So let's make one here. I'm just gonna use Microsoft Paint to design this website. Chat GPT's first site. Let's just have three boxes here. We'll give us three titles. Title three, a bunch of placeholder text here. Okay, let's see if ChatGPT can turn this into a website. All right, so you just click this picture. If you have it here, attach image, and then I'm gonna upload this and be like, turn this into, into website code. And then boom, it's gonna create this HTML code. Looking pretty good. It's got boxes, it's got titles, it's got lorem ips and placeholder text. That's the code, copy that, paste the code here, and boom, look at that, ChatGPT's first site. Doesn't look exactly like the UI, but it's pretty similar. You see it's got the title in the box, but other than that, um, it's got everything else in the right space. It's responsive as well, so it'll work on mobile. That's really cool. Poki Mokimon has says, do you need GPT plus for GPT vision? Um, yeah, I think you do. I don't think it works on the free version. I'm gonna Google what are some use cases for ChatGPT Vision. Oh, see, so we can make a whole flow. That's so cool, guys. So here's the thing. We're gonna be like, when title one is clicked, we'll go to like, this could be like a contact us page. Oh, we could rename this to contact us. And then the second one could be YouTube. And we'll try to get it to go to like www.youtube.com slash at tech friend. Something similar for TikTok. It's a simple flow. Let's see if we can figure it out too. For this to work, it needs to know the context of the first thing it created and then be able to link it with the flow that I just linked it. So I'm going to say rename title one to contact us, title two to YouTube, and title three to TikTok, and link them according to the diagram by creating a new contact us page and just linking to the relative social media links. All right, so it's created the updated HTML code. So we're gonna just edit that. Okay, so this is the updated site. Contact us, YouTube and TikTok. Oh, it added it all in the one thing. But the TikTok and YouTube links work. And it removed the lorem ipsum text. But I guess that's fair enough because otherwise it would take way too many tokens. Yeah, that was really cool. Okay, let's see if we can copy Instagram UI. Just a basic profile page from Instagram. This one. Create, uh, create HTML and CSS. Copy this UI. Exactly. Let's see if it can do that. It says, please note this is simplified version. It doesn't include the follow button or icons. You need to replace the image sources and adjustments may be, ne may be needed. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so it is very simplified. Let me find some sample images to just copy here. And we're gonna copy the post picture a bunch of times see if it cascades probably refresh that okay that looks a bit better that's close to the instagram ui um but not perfect so i mean like it's a pretty good starting point i'll have to say yeah that was chat gpt vision guys